What's up, guys? It's your boy, Local Light Scan, and today I'm back with another one. Today's video is not a reaction. We're gonna be talking about the time I almost got caught having sexual intercourse with my neighbor. So this happened many, many years ago, guys, when I was still a teenager, young Chad, still new with women, still feeling things out. So the backstory on this girl is I've always had a crush on her. This is back when I didn't really have game, man. I didn't know how to talk to bitches like that. So, you know, it was a struggle to get her attention. Like, this is when DMs first came out. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna sign the DM right quick. So I hit her with a, hey, big head, right? You stupid. So I said, hey, big head, and she didn't open my message. And this girl's posting, she's commenting on other people's posts. Like, this girl, she's tripping. So I go the extra length and I comment on her picture, check DM. I can't. I am disgusted. You know how bold you gotta be to go in a brand new picture she just posted and say, check DM? I'm letting all her boyfriends know that yes, I'm in her DM and I'm here to stay. Bruh, shut your bitch ass. She responded to my check DM comment with LOL. Man, I got the notification. I saw it was from her. I was like, oh, I was geeked up and I saw LOL and I was like, wow. That's how we gonna do people? Okay, bet, bet, bet. I stayed persistent. I stayed 10 toes. I didn't fold. So I kept on pushing it. I kept on going. Maybe like, maybe a year or two years later, I start to fill out. I get a little taller, get more handsome and I think she's starting to be like maybe attracted to me, but she's not gonna tell me. Years go by and I start to fill in, right? I start to get a little bit taller, a little more handsome. These these light skin features start kicking up. You feel me? <laughs> Boy, if you don't So we actually I take her out to hang out and I we grab some tea and I get nothing. I get nothing. No, no play. She just goes, ha, huh, and she gets out the car and leaves. Fellas, most people would have quit again. I took you out, I dropped $11, and I still couldn't get a kiss? Oh, best believe I was upset. I was driving home listening to Marvin's room on full blast going, why can't I get this girl? Quick side note, just because she hangs out with you and you spend time with her, doesn't mean she wants you. Women will suck you dry of your attention. Just keep that in mind, fellas. So I keep trying. I keep on trying. So this is what happens now. I text Shorty, right? And I'm like, hey, I'm about to go to uh, Fashion Island to go shopping, you should come with. And she's like, Ugh, all right, I guess. So she comes and this time around, she's been a bit more flirtatious. Uh -huh. A bit more, like I'll, I'll, like I'll touch her thigh or her leg or her knee or whatever and she wouldn't swap me away. She, you know, I would like open the door for her like a gentleman and smack her ass on the way in and she'd give me this look. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm starting to feel myself a little more. So then we get back to her house and she goes, what are you doing? Because I'm trying to again, make a move. And, and I go, oh, I was just trying to walk you to your door. You know, you know I'm a gentleman. Barely. And she goes, yeah, all right. So we're getting out the car and I'm behind her, right? She's walking and I'm, I smack her behind again. And she's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? So I thought I failed, but in reality, Oh, she liked it. Oh, she did. <laughs> what? So now she opens the door. I follow her in and she goes, she looks at me and goes, fine. Now we're gonna call this girl Ashley, okay? So I walk into Ashley's room, right? And she gives me that look like, okay, fine. You can have a chance. So push her on the bed on some, you know, some aggressive shit. Period. Period. We start touching and stuff like that. And then my intuition tells me, Chad Franklin, do not take off your pants. So I'm like, wait a minute. Like I'm here with, with a with a crush I've been crushing on for like three years now. And my intuition's telling me to keep my meat in my pants. Gay. So I decide to listen to that. But at the same time, Shorty's reaching for my meat. So it's like my mind is like keeping your pants, but she's grabbing it. It's like R. Kelly. You know, my mind, my mind is telling me, telling me no. no, but my, but my body, body, my body, body is telling me, yes, me yes, baby. baby. 
So I'm freaking confused. What should I do? Listen to her, listen to my, my brain. All of a sudden I hear, Ashley, Ashley I'm, I'm home. home. And we shit bricks. She gets up, grabs her robe, throws it over herself, and walks in the kitchen and acts like nothing's going on. Now, mind you, I'm pretty much fully clothed besides my shoes. And fellas, never leave your shoes at the door, okay? If you're, if you're gonna sneak into a girl's house, put the shoes in her room so when her mom or dad walks in the door, she doesn't see a size 12 Nike sitting at the front of the house. I am now in her room and I make my way to the bathroom. She goes, look, when you hear these two knocks, take off so i'm in her bathroom right i take my shoes off because i feel like socks on marble floors would be a lot less quiet you know i'm on my ninja shit you know so i take my shoes off they're in my hand she's talking to her dad you know chopping it up chopping it up and it's going on too long right it's, it's been like two three minutes and at this point it feels like it's been an eternity i'm like sweating at this point waiting for these two knocks and eventually i thought i missed the two knocks i thought i i missed them but then after like two or three minutes, I hear it out loud. And I don't even look right or left. I just open that door and start walking. I'm just so scared because I'm a black man in America. If a freaking dad or a mom sees a black man in their house, they think they're getting robbed. So I would just do my best. Please don't have this dad see me. This guy could have a gun. He could have a knife. Dude, he could have a whole weapon arsenal. But I had to get out of this house as soon as possible. So I'm, I'm on the marble floors, I'm, I'm pitter-pattering on my feet, real, real quiet, get to the door, and I, start, I try to my best to close it as soft as I could, run to my car, which I parked down the street. Another player will park your car down the street. And I get in the car and I drive off into the sunset going, damn, I almost got caught up by a dad. So that will wrap up today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Man, getting caught up is not fun. I almost got caught up, but I hope all my brothers out there, y'all stay safe and don't get caught up. Make sure you know the parent's schedule. So if you're sneaking in, you can sneak out easy. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. Leave a comment and let me know what type of video would you like to see next. That does it for my time today, y'all. Peace.